The other uh, coach who is notionally, we're told, under some pressure is Stuart Jew. Uh, the latest there, Tom. Gold Coast as well. And I think it mostly relates to the fact that Alistair Clarkson is available and Brad Scott is available as well. And this comes at board level too. But there's also a concern around uh, what the potential uh, another year, another bad year could do for players who are out of contract next year. So Ben King, Jack Lacocious, Isaac Rankin. Can this club afford another year where they have big losses and finish in the bottom four or five on the ladder? Gary, you've been strong on Gold Coast all year. I still believe Stuart is going to be there next year, but you can't categorically say that he absolutely will be. What is the right approach? for the Suns, do you think? All we've heard is that they're going to back Stuart Jew. We've heard from the President, we've heard from the CEO, I think a number of times. Uh, that's, ch that's changed in recent days. Oh, you think that's changed in the last few days? Yeah, there's, there's not going to be an announcement at any time soon. They're all in quarantine there, but they can't categorically say that Stuart Jew will be the coach next year. And one final one, the latest on the pies. Uh, Don Pike has officially pulled out. Yeah, that story from Glenn McFarlane tonight in the Herald Sun. Craig McRae is clearly the favourite here now. And the, the connection he has with Collingwood is that Graham Wright, the head of footy, hired him while he was at Hawthorne. Um, the ace in the pack again is Alistair Clarkson. Brownie, you're a premiership teammate of, uh, of Craig McRae. Is he suited to this role? Do you think he'd make, good, uh, make a good Collingwood well, coach? Well, he's a ripper, absolutely. He coached me for a year up the lines, but uh, he ticks all the boxes. Development, culture, communication, and obviously strategy. He's been at the Pies in success. Uh, Richmond oh, yeah. success, and uh, he started at the Pies, yeah. then Richmond success, and then, of course, he got to go under Clarks, and he's coached his own teams as well. Fantastic clubman, probably one of the best clubmen I've played with. He's to organise all the Mad Mondays and footy trips. <laughs> 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 he might have to take that hat off, but uh, he's an absolute beauty fly, and I'm glad that, uh, you know, he's done it the long way. You know, he's been around the game for a long time in coaching roles, various coaching roles, so yep. he'd be fantastic. Yet again, think. another example of the guessing that goes on. Mm. You no, know, I, I hadn't heard his name, no. um, um, Craig McRae, mm. until the last week. He's now dollar fifty. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see where Justin Leppage comes into the mix as well. Leper and uh, Fly are great mates. So Leper, uh, you know, Leper's such a talent. He should be back in the AFL industry. Well, they've got some issues down at Collingham. One of them surrounds their captain, Scott Pendlebury. As I understand it, when you get to this age, you are slightly lower on the priority list than the young guys and finding a new coach and things like that. I do have ambitions to coach. I, I've said that. I think I said on this program, actually. I'd yep. like to step away from our football club, though, and, and just get some experience elsewhere, I think. Because all I've known since I've been 17 is this football club. But I definitely, and I'm on record as saying, I, I really do want to be a one-club player. Clubs should be trying to put packages together for me. They want to offer me future coaching gigs for a couple of years' time. I'll have a look at it. But the suggestion is that uh, he is entertaining offers elsewhere. Tom, is he going to stay or is he going to go? Well, I still think he's more likely to stay, Jared. I've spoken to Fremantle and Gold Coast today. They're the two clubs that have been linked to him. They both believe that he's more likely posturing for a better deal at Collingwood. But, Nick, you're a one-club player. Scott Penderbury's a one-club player. Is he in every, uh, is he, does he have every right to look at other clubs and see how he can make his career better and maybe even win a premiership at another club? Oh, yeah, I mean, of course he's got the right. Um... I get it. I get it because I finished my career on uh, in with I think three or four one-year deals, and it it pissed me off. Uh, and I thought I deserved better. But I think publicly, uh, you, you can be pissed off with that. But to publicly shop yourself and and say, hey, put packages to me as a leader of that football club and and a guy that. I think has been treated really well by Collingwood and he's been great for Collingwood as well. He, he's never put, put a foot wrong, Scott Penelbury, but I thought it was language that was a, was a bit beneath him. You know, that's, that, that's from a guy that I really, 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 really respect. Should you let him come out of contract in the manner that they have, though? Yeah, well, like, like, like I'd, be, I'd be pissed off. And I was in the same... I faced the same situation as so a player. So just a little one across a, the as, bow? Yeah, I don't think... I think you can I do that. I definitely want to be a one... So too did yeah, Sam Mitchell. Yeah, I thought it was OK up until yeah. then. But Sam I think, Mitchell, Luke Hodge, hasn't it changed? Mm. Uh, I think... As the leader of the club in a time when they are bleeding as a football club. You can fight the fight privately, yep. internally, but I thought pub publicly to shop yourself around and say, hey, put a package in front of me and I'll have a look at it. I, I just thought it was language that it was beneath a guy like Scott Pendlebury, who I respect greatly. Just on the one-year contracts, he was showing signs of waning last year. Remember, you know, yeah. he ended off the ended off the year uh, struggling body wise. So you know, can understand the reluctance of the club to offer him any more than one year deals, Jerry. Collingwood. So they they've got some issues at the moment. Rebuilding, no picks, no money that the Grundy contract is causing havoc. President uncertain. Coach, no coach, no list manager. Captain shopping himself around. Oh. To make matters worse, <laughs> shopping himself Black. around. Last oh, year, baseball bat. This has got to be make bad. Matters what, worse. What was his back? <laughs> <laughs> to make matters worse, last year you trade pick 24, 30 and a fourth rounder. 
for your first round uh, oh, for geez. your first round pick this year with the Ooh. Giants. Ooh. That's ended up that? being pick two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so geez. when you don't have picks, you could have gone to the draft this year, secured Nick Dacos with a father son, and then had pick two in the draft. So that disastrous period last year for yeah. Collingwood, Jeez. it's still yeah. rearing its head. Kicking the, kicking nice work, boys. When they're down, yeah. it's got a long memory, no. our man. <laughs> <laughs> got a long memory. <laughs> <laughs> Not that at all, guys. Just <laughs> call it as we see it. Gonna give he sure one in a minute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's a recruiting department's going to be sore after that. Oh, the pies. They're uh, not there anymore, Brownie. They don't care. Well, that's yeah. They'll still be sore though. The pie supporters. Uh, 100 metre penalty on the weekend. Waterman, Alec Waterman. Uh, have a look at this. So you just you've worked your way into the side. You're in the good books with the coach. So yeah, give away this 50 metre penalty. He has two or three cracks at giving the next one away. Oh, yeah. I reckon the umpire was pretty fair on him. That should have been one there. So that should have been one there. <laughs> so he's given it away. He, and he's right in the way. Now have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh, are no. you doing? <laughs> yeah, no one to blame but yourself. Read the rule book, mate. Mm -hmm. He's been a good player, though. Good pick up for him. Oh, yeah, nice work. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a baseball bat like him. Yeah.